Oh, it's me, your boy, K. Samson. So I have something special for us today. It shocked them because the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is my new session. I will dance and give him joy. I will dance, I will dance, I will dance and praise the Lord. So let me be real with you, choosing ones. The joy of the Lord is our strength. That's why I am here to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you rem if you can figure out deeply inside you the importance of joy, what it gives, when I mean what it gives, the things it opens, the, the gates, joy, being what joyful always, <laughs> you will never be sad, bro. That's why sometimes so, some of my friends will be telling me, Samson, uh, why is it that every day you are smiling? If, even if uh, things are hard, like like yesterday when I was coming back, day before yesterday when I was coming back from work, my my master, you know, he make me to become annoyed. I look at him, look at him. I say no, the best answer to a fool is just no answer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want anything up there to take the, the joy of the Lord in me. You know what I'm saying? So what am I trying to say is this: Don't let nothing take your joy. If it is what, if it is something that you can't control, allow it to go. You know what I'm saying? Because there are some certain things we can't control. You know what I'm saying? When I mean we can't control, we can't just control it. So those things which you know you can't control, you just allow it to be as it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't kill yourself over what things which you can revise. Or maybe you lost your job, you lost your business, you lost one thing to another. So as long as you can't control it, you just leave it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't let nothing steal your joy. And there are people who will always try to make you become sad. There are a lot of people up there who will always, what I mean always, they will try by all means to make you become sad. <laughs> they will create sadness. They will try to put you in difficult time. They will try to put you in hard time. They will try to make you become sad. But don't give room to sadness. Because sadness creates what? Devil. It makes devil have power over you. It gives devil opposition in your life. <laughs> you know what I'm Whenever you are sad, that is a privilege that devil used to strike. You get me? So it's a privilege in which devil used to do or to strike. Don't let nothing up there do what hold you. Hold your joy. Don't let because maybe you lost your one thing or you lost your this or that. That means you need to be sad. No. Create that value within you. Let things go the way God truly wanted. Because what is not yours can never be. So the things which you know you can't control, you leave it. Even if it cost you, even if you lost your this or lost your that, as long as you can't control it, you just leave it to be as it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't give yourself over, uh, maybe money, uh, cloth relationship, marriage. You know, there was a lady that I saw yesterday that one of my friends posted in WhatsApp. So, so she was like, she was even a teenager, not up to 20 years or 20, 21 years. She was crying over a breakup. She knocked her phone on the ground. She started to say, men has come. Men are this. I look at him. <laughs> I, I, I look at her. I said, what kind of thing is this? If you are busy doing something, even relate, even break up will make you feel like you are getting your what? Breakfast. Why? Because if someone break up with you, that means another person is about to give you breakfast. Yes, believe me. If someone tell you you are not good enough, that means there is someone up there who is already watching you that is ready to tell you that you are good enough. 
<laughs> if someone up there make you feel like you are not welcome and they reject you, that means there is also another person hiding to tell you that you are you are welcome. So God needs to let some people go, so certain go, so certain things go in order for you to be welcome. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel frustrated. Don't let nothing take your joy. Remember, let 